I grew up just in Essendon, so I um, grew up on Cooper Street, so I was just between Aberfeldy and Duda Stars and played all my junior footy at Aberfeldy. Lucky enough to stay around the region, play a bit of footy for Colder Cannons and was signed by the Gold Coast Suns. And it's a historic night for AFL football. The Suns are taking on the Blues. I remember the first game playing as a sub and getting to watch the first half of the Carlton game. I think we were down by about 80 or 90 points at the time, which you know, obviously wasn't great, but it was, it was an awesome experience to actually get out there and um, rub shoulders with, I think, my first, say, six opponents were Chris Judd, uh, Cade Simpson, Bryce Gibbs, Mark Murphy, Mitch Robinson, who were obviously champions of the game. But overall, the whole season was a learning a learning experience for us and um, you know we got a couple of wins and we got a couple of wins really early which was really exciting. What do you dream of this? Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's this it. is his moment. Oh, he's it's missed out it. to the right. The Gold Coast Suns have their first ever AFL win. That was simply amazing. I guess coming down to the last kick of the game was just something you, you couldn't script any better. The first pre-season that we did up there, you know, we did our 2K time trial, we did our 5 300s, uh, we did, I think it was our VO2 max, uh, went into Griffith University. So I did the test, halfway through they were asking how I was feeling, sort of a bit dizzy, because I think at the best of times you get pretty dizzy and, and that sort of stuff when you're working pretty hard. And after it had finished, they chucked all these uh, leads on me. Um, and I thought that was just procedure because they thought I was a little bit crook and they were a little bit worried or something like that. And uh, later in the day, I had one of the conditioning staff come up to me and sort of say, oh, I think we heard something about your heart. And got called into a room and was let know that I had a complete congenital heart block, which means I had it from birth. So I just, I didn't really realise. But they were a little bit worried about the type of congenital heart block that it ended up being because they found out that a couple of people had passed away um, in basketball, I think it was, in America. But there were times along the way which I now look back on and sort of it, it sinks up. So um, we are at the OAS and we were doing a, a beep test and we were reading out our max heart rates and uh, a lot of people were reading out 200 because it's obviously, you know, 220 minus your age should be max heart rate. And, and I, I looked down at mine and at the time it was 180 and I sort of thought it means I didn't try hard or didn't try as hard as what I could have. So I thought I could have pushed myself, but now I realise my actual max heart rate at the moment is around 160, I think it is, um, which means that my fatigue sets in quicker than other people. In a game, I, I seem to keep up really well. It got ticked off as there was there was no um, there was no way that it was going to be detrimental to my health. Um, so once that was ticked off, you know, I was doing training just but being monitored a little bit more the whole time, um, and got straight back into full pre-season training. So yeah, it was just off a random VO2 max test that they picked up this irregularity. I think they were surprised originally. Uh, I don't think they expected to sign on someone and um, so early and then not know what was going on. But it's the same for me. I was surprised and I didn't know that I had it. I guess they just tried to deal with it as best as they could and, and they, they looked at avenues to try and get the best out of me. Josh Toy to seal the game for the Gold oh, Coast. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, Josh Toy, the Suns will win their third game of the season. I had a contract at the start of the year on the table for one more year and sat down with management, sat down with Scotty Clayton, the Gold Coast Suns recruiting manager, and sort of thought, oh, look, if we can get a trade back to Victoria, then that might be in the best interest because um, um, maybe that would have helped my footy. And I actually had a plane ticket to go back up to Queensland and start the pre-season, and they said, oh, look, stay back in Melbourne and we'll try and sort this out. If it doesn't, then, you know, we'll see what happens. Because Gold Coast were the only team that knew that I had something wrong with my heart at the time, and, um, and then it got thrown out into the papers and that sort of stuff. And once everyone sort of heard that, they all thought, obviously, the most negative thoughts, which was, you know, he can't run, he can't do this, he can't do that. Um, and everyone was sort of deterred straight away. So I went and had a chat to a couple of teams, knowing, obviously, what the condition was and that sort of stuff. And it just, for me, it didn't work out, and I was left with nothing on, uh, on the rookie draft day. So, yeah, it was just a disappointing time. And, yeah, it went from thinking I was going to be signed to the Gold Coast partway through the year to not having a club at the end of the year at all. So I came to the conclusion, I thought Essendon, knowing that they were actually going to be shifting out to Tullamarine and, and have some new facilities, and um, which would be first class and first rate, I thought Essendon would be the best place suited for me, and oh, I think it probably was the right decision. Well, I don't think I'll get another chance at AFL, and it's not the end of the world, there's plenty of other things out there for me, and, and I've got a massive passion for coaching, and I, I look forward to doing that.